Alright guys, so soon I'm going to be doing a Q&A, so leave all your questions down below or on my Instagram page, Travels and Marco, and your questions will be featured in the video. Stay tuned, hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you later guys. Yeah, so I'm um, walking towards the abandoned yacht now, we're hopefully going to go on board, it's it a bit. Hopefully the doors are open, we can go inside, but it just depends. To wait and see, but I'm hoping that we're able to go inside and see what it's like. I've never really been on a big yacht before. I'm getting pretty excited for that. All right, guys, so we're about to go on the uh, abandoned yacht. It's going to be epic. So, managed to get on. It's pretty sick, guys. Imagine having like a party up here. That'd be epic. So what happened with this boat, two years ago they had the cyclone and this boat was like around the harbour that way. The cyclone caused it to crash into here. It's kind of weird walking on it. Apparently there's like 21 rooms here, so that's pretty cool. You can still see like the robes and stuff that would have been there when people were staying. There's like a fridge and stuff in there. It's pretty sick. can see over to the other side on the outside looks more a lot more luxurious than when you actually like on the inside it's it looks pretty old school I reckon even though it might look like a fa fairly new yacht I think it's looks like something like from the 90s I reckon just from like saying the type of furniture inside but good just Im imagine this right just having like 200 people on this boat just having a crazy party I reckon that'd be awesome the thing about owning a boat like this, you need to have a lot of friends. And it would cost quite a bit of money to have the crew per day. Whoa. Look at this. It's pretty sketchy, guys. Oh my god, it feels so weird. It's like, it's weird. Like, it really just, it just does not feel right. You can tell it's been abandoned for quite a while because of all like the varnish. The varnish from the wood is all gone. Oh. Also apparently like in the cyclone, like all the anchors they broke. That's why like they're just un uncontrollable. Imagine if this was like in any other country in the world, like think about it. If if a yacht just arrived like during a cyclone on your front yard. I reckon people just like steal lots of stuff from it. Wow. Oh, I feel dizzy. Wow. I feel really dizzy. Wow. Why well, you can open this door? She got the couches in there. Let me know what you guys think. Would you think like a yacht like this would be more luxurious on the inside? Let me know in the comments below. Oh my god. It's crazy. Gonna go up the stairs now. Oh. Got a bit of Clean. stuff for cleaning in there. Can you lift it? This is pretty epic. Apparently the boat was built in Italy. Not sure how many years ago.
It looks pretty fancy with all the sails inside the mast and all that. Imagine how much it would cost if you snapped a mast on this ship. You'd need like a crane to replace it. I reckon it'd be like at least 20,000 just to replace the mast. At least 20, 20 grand. Hydraulic power. Look at all this. We got the uh get out of the truck. Yeah. To stop. To come down. Alright. Alright, so coming down now. Got the control room in here. Alright guys, it's pretty sick for this view on this down in the yacht. Like I said, first time we've been on the yacht before. Anyway, so we're gonna get off now. All the doors are locked so we can go inside unfortunately. But yeah, it's pretty sick. We got to see you know the big wheel, have the control the ship, all the other controls. 